of a man named Mike Pence. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He was a former <laughs> vice president. Flies Here's what up. happened here. If you can play this, Rob, go for it. Along the way, the Biden administration has been slow in providing military support. Make no mistake about this. We promised them 33 Abrams tanks in January. I heard again two weeks ago in Ukraine, they still don't have them. We've been telling them we'll train their F-16 pilots, but now they're saying maybe January we'll let somebody transfer some jets. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President, have you, I know you're running for president. You are, distra you. You are distressed notice. that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks. Every city in the United States has become much worse over the past three years. Yeah. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. Miami. He's not even and making eye contact, Dave. Yeah, 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 yeah. No Miami eye contact. Look. Yeah. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. And yet your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, Finally, don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. It's not my concern. Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. I'm running for president of the United States because I think this country's in a lot of trouble. Okay, I think Jim, I mean, along like, the, like that, that's the epitome <laughs> of that's I, God, God, God. I, none of that makes sense to me. Well, there's well, so much stupidity there. Now you're concerned, but you're concerned. But uh, we, we did a Marge Simpson reference. I mean, he comes off as a 1994 ex Simpsons ex Republican, <laughs> right? Like the caricature at the at the castle yeah. with the lightning, sitting with Mr. Burns. Yeah, as a, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing, this idea that. He's, he's upset with Biden because we promised him 33 Abrams tanks in January. We didn't, um, if, let's say we gave him 66. We doubled it. Do, does anyone think the war would be going any differently? Oh it's just complete nonsense. And then the mm -hmm. line, that's not my concern. I actually, I will give him a little bit of a leash on that because I think he just actually, because he's such a robot, I, I don't think he meant it that way. Like, I'm not concerned about America. I think he meant I'm not concerned the way you're framing this okay, question. Yeah, but, yeah. but Adam, you brought up a great point. When Tucker says all the cities in America are crumbling, Miami is not crumbling. Plenty of cities yeah. in Florida are not crumbling. And there are and Nashville's not crumbling. I mean, yeah. there are some cities that are not aren't. every city in America is doing worse. No, certain but are, the, the, the ones that are doing now, well all certain are to be thriving. Yeah. yeah, of course. Well, it does yeah. make me happy seeing that, though, Dave, and 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 loving that Americans are just done with that yeah, there's carbon cutout, his hair, it's just, imagine he's not making any eye contact, he's just looking in the audience like, like he's getting votes. It's like, bro, I, what people do you guys are done think with he's, What do you think he's doing? Because he was, is this just purely to do a little cleanup job on the association with Trump? That he's like, I'll try it so that maybe I'll be remembered for that? It, yes. Instead of the or, Trump thing, like, yes, what, Dave. do you know one person that's supporting him? One person that even thinks no. he should be running? He's he got half the votes Tim Scott got on that one poll that we ran. No, he's done. I think I asked the same question with Chris Christie. Like, what is Chris Christie and him doing? You're not going to win. So, what job are you trying to get? Are you trying to get a job on what Biden administration? Or or is it you know we can go to the dark side, which the dark side is what? Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, Mr. Pence, who has lived a perfect life. These are three things we know about you yep. that we found on how you searched mm -hmm. for Google and you searched on this on that day and you did this and you did that. Mm -hmm. Just want to let you know, you better respect or else this is going to be released. And when it does, your yeah. grandkids are always going to look at daddy as a perv and they're going to, I don't, I'm not saying this is the truth or right, not. Right, right, the right. only reason a person sounds like this, be, look, at, look at the look on his face right there. Look at that. <laughs> like, the only like, person a person you. talks like you. this is because they're scared and they're trying to prevent something from happening. You can't suddenly flip like this. Look, Scotty Pippen writes his book that flops. Yeah. In the interview, they asked him, and they said, so how do you want to remember it as? Do you remember his answer? I don't. He says, I want to be remembered as the greatest of all time. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? I want to be remembered as the greatest of all time. By the way, Scottie Pippen is a top 50 of all time. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Top 50. But he's yeah. not a greatest of all time. Yeah. Mike Pence is not a top 1,000 or yeah. 500 in that space. Okay? He's a good guy. He's a good man. He's a good husband. He's done very good with his family. But he's, he can't say, I want to be the president and out to Trump. No, you're not that guy. So the motive behind it is kind of funky where he's a role player to disrupt mm -hmm. and kind of mess up somebody that's ahead of him. He's a pawn that's being used by somebody. Because aside from that, what are you running for? Yeah. What are you running for? There's nothing legacy-wise that looks good unless if you believe that insurrection. I saw a video the other day that showed the following. It shows the video of 
you know, the, the CNN guy is doing the interview, and he's shown in the back there's fires. Yeah. Be mostly fires. peaceful protests. It's mostly a, a, mostly a, a, peaceful. Mostly a peaceful protests. Churches on just, fire behind you know, them. Nothing, no, to see here. nothing to see here. Peaceful men and women out here. Yeah. They're just upset. And you see January 6th, they're standing in front of, this is an insurrection. Yeah. This is, these guys, this. Yeah. Okay, flamboyant, you're selling all this stuff. And Pence, kind of weird. For me, Chris Christie, I can understand it because Chris Christie, I actually understand Chris Christie more than I understand Pence. Chris Christie is kind of trying to protect his legacy to go and say, that was a good recommendation with Chris Ray. I actually think Chris Ray's done a good job. So he's defending the recommendations he made. And Chris Christie you know, probably is envious. I think Chris Christie's more the envious guy. You know, yeah. uh, my concern with him, I think he's a topic, I'd love to have him on the podcast, but it's very hard. If, if you want to control the national debt that's ballooned, but you have a hard time controlling your own national debt in your body, you know, you got to first cut off some of that debt of there's whatever a, you're there's eating. There's a legit optical yeah. issue there. Yeah, for so, sure. so for me, optical I issue. actually understand Chris <laughs> Christie's it. fight. I don't understand Pence's fight at all. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.